What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using the strongest grass type from Generation 4, Roserade. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring those notification bells so you know my videos go live. But let's get started here with Roserade. Roserade is one of those Pokemon just like Star Raptor in the last BDSP video. We showcased Star Raptor, but Roserade is just like that Pokemon. It is one of those Gen 4 Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet, yet and I'm super surprised that I haven't because it is such a cool Pokemon and it is really, really strong. We gave it the Focus Ash as its item. It's rocking the Poison Point as its ability. EVs are fully invested into Special Attack alongside with Speed. And the moveset for this Pokemon is going to be Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, Put Pokemon to Sleep, Energy Ball, and Protect. So we got two heavy hitting stab moves. We got Protect and then we got Sleep Powder. Really great Pokemon. Really high in Special Attack. Like look how high that is. 383 at level 100. Definitely really strong. But cannot wait to use this Pokemon and get off some big damage. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Infernape over here, and Infernape is going to be able to pair up with Roserade really well due to it having Fake Out. So I can lead the Infernape, I can lead the Roserade, I can Fake Out a Pokemon, I can put the other one to sleep, and then I can just get after the battle that way. Or I can Fake Out a, a Pokemon and just do big damage with Roserade. Either or, I feel like both of those options work out really well for us. Infernape also has Close Combat, Flare Blitz for Stab, and then it's got U-Turn for Pivoting Out. Item for this Pokemon is going to be Expert Bell. Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Rotom Wash. And Rotom Wash is definitely one of the best water types in the game. It's got Citrus Berry as its item. It's obviously have the Levitate as its ability. Then move set is Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Pot to set up, and protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Clefable. Clefable is such a great support mod because it learns Follow Me and it is super bulky at the same time. Its other three moves consist of Moon Blast, Calm Mind to set up, and Safeguard to protect us from any status condition moves. Ability for Clefable is going to be Unaware, and then last but not least, it item it is holding is going to be the Leftovers to recover HP at the end of every single turn. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is Star Raptor. We used Star Raptor showcasing it in the last video, and I just love this Pokemon so much and felt like you get a lot of value out of it. I thought I'd bring it back for another video. We got Choice Scarf as item, we're rocking Intimidate as its ability, and then Moveset is the same exact thing. It's Close Combat, Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Double Edge. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyranitar. I felt like we needed a bit more offensive power, so I brought this Pokemon on board. It's got Protect, it's got Dragon Dance to set up, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Ability is obviously going to be Sandstream for that weather control, and then last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Life Orb to make it do the most damage it possibly can. But guys, there's the team preview for Rose Raid. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins with it. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against an opponent with two legendary Pokemon. I should say one legendary Pokemon. Well, actually, yeah, two legendary Pokemon, but one mythical. He's rocking Darkrai, Cresselia, Kyogre, Weavile, Scizor, and then last but not least, he has the Ludicolo. I kind of want to go into Roserade here, alongside with Infernape, kind of get that combo roll and try to get Roserade in this battle, and then roll out from there. So yeah, we're going to lead both of them, and then in the back end, I kind of like Star Raptor. I just kind of like Star Raptor. I feel like it does a lot of work. It outspeeds a bunch of Pokemon, and it's really good all around. It also has that Weavile. Weavile is kind of scary. I do have Protect on Rose Raid if I want to just Protect Rose Raid and maybe fake out the Weavile. If he does end up leading Weavile, because Weavile is definitely a, a nice little lead. I could go in with Rotom. Rotom's not too bad here either. So yeah, I'm going to bring Rotom, and then it's either Star Raptor or Titar. I could go Titar just for weather control, but at that point, Kyogre would still outspeed it and do a ridiculous amount of damage. But Titar is so good with the Dark Moves. That I want him. I want Titar. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We have Rotom Wash for that uh that Kyogre. So hopefully we can actually get after this battle. And grab ourselves a win up against a few mythical and legendary po Pokemon. But he's gonna end up leading Ludicolo and Dark Ride, which I'm totally cool with. We fake out the Ludicolo here. Infernape should be able to outspeed. I mean he could swap into uh He could definitely swap into what's it called? The Kyogre on that other slot. So you know what? I'm still just gonna go for a fake out here. And I could actually put this slot to sleep. Or I could just say straight up Sludge Bomb. I'm going to put this slot to sleep. Hmm. Actually, where do we just get after it? We could get after this Ludicolo. Ludicolo could be a pain in the rain. It could definitely be a pain. But you know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get right after this Ludicolo. I'm going to fake out the Ludicolo. And then we're just going to show off the power of Roserade. Ice Beam coming in here. Good thing we're Focus Ash. Good thing we are Focus Ash, because that thing is going to do a crazy amount of damage. <laughs> Ice Beam brings us down that Focus Ash, and I could protect next turn and kind of go from there. But Rosary's going to drop a nice mean Sludge Bomb, and I should take out Ludicolo. Yes, sir. Big time special attacker getting after him battle on the go. That dang Darkrai over there. Maybe I should have went after that. Maybe I should have put that to sleep. 
Maybe I should have put that Pokemon to sleep. Could have been our best bet. I could end up protecting my Rose Raid this turn because he might come after my uh, Rose Raid. But hopefully he doesn't bring out Kyogre because that could be scary. If it brings out Weebah. That's still a little scary. Weebah can do some work. I could actually close combat that. What do I want to do? Actually, I could close combat Darkrai. Is he, is he not ghost type? Hold up. Give me a second. He's dark and what? Is he just straight up dark? I'm going to close combat him if that's the case. I always thought he was kind of ghost. Let me look up his typing. Give me one second. That's why we got an extra monitor. He's not ghost type? He's just straight up dark? He's just straight up dark. All right. You know what? Never mind. Close combat going straight into his mitt. I'm just going to protect my lovely little rosary. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. To protect the Rose Raid, hopefully he's not faking out the Infernape so he can get off this close combat. That'd be big plays from us. He goes for fake out and he is faking out. Mm. Go into my Rose Raid here, please. Thank you. So Ice Beam's gonna fly here. Um, I feel like we might just hard swap here. Or we might let a Rose Raid go down here. But yeah, I'm gonna go for another close combat. Do I swap here? Maybe in the Rotom? Just to soak up that, uh... That Ice move? We do have Citrus Berry, which could really help us out. Kinda lean towards that. Let's do it. Let's go for the hard swap here. Right into the road time, we have the citrus berry. And we can eat up some ice moves all day. Rose Raid's kind of scary. We're not Rose Raid. Uh, we bow. And of course, he swaps it. That's good. So he's going to swap into who? His final Pokemon, which is going to be Kai Ogre. That's not too bad. We have the road time rolling out strong here. And I feel like he just wants to fake out ready to go. So he's going to do that. We're going to drop a Rose Raid right into our road time, which poses a good threat for us. It poses a really good threat. As long as Dark Knight Rise is not protecting, we can do good. He's gonna drop that ice beam. He still outspeeds you. That Pokemon's super fast. And he does a crazy amount of damage. Rotom's able to eat with a swap in. And Close Combat's gonna drop here and KO it. Let's go. Big time KO from Infernape. We dropped Dark Rye. I could have sworn it was part ghost type. I think I just went off of looks. Like looking at that Pokemon, you're just like, yeah, that thing's a ghost. <laughs> but now I do. He's straight up ghost or dark type. Such a cool Pokemon. Definitely one of the cooler mythical Pokemons. Definitely wish he was in Series 13 for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Because I would love to use that Pokemon for competitive battles. Okay, so from here, uh, you might just take out my Rotom, and I think I just protect my Rotom, right? I protect the Rotom and try to U-turn out of here. That would be a solid play. It really would be. I could go for the Thunderbolt. Like, who are you going to fake out? I mean, Kyogre definitely outspeeds us, so I kind of just want to go into here. And then Intimidate next turn with Star Raptor. Could be nice, because the speed could be lovely for us. We're going to go for the Fake Out, and we're going to get rolling from there. Fake Out and the Water Spout come out here. So yeah, Water Spout was probably outspeeding us anyway, so I knew I had to protect the Rotom. I knew I had to protect the Rotom from that fake out. But going up against mythical Pokemon and legendary Pokemon without him in BDSP is definitely really tough. There's a lot of speed on us. So from here, I could change up weather. Weather could definitely help us out here. Oh, I thought I had Star Raptor. I think I have Star Raptor, but this is still definitely our player. Change weather. Get after the battle. I can just rock slide and go into a uh I wonder if uh, we can actually soak up a water spout. But I can definitely rock slide and go into a thunderbolt. It's gonna be my play. Rock slide into thunderbolt. Right over into Kyogre Slap. The good thing we did bring in Titar. I would have rather had Star Raptor because Star Raptor just constantly outspeeds. Can you eat that up, Titar? I love you, Titar. That's a big time eat up. That's a big time eat up. So one of my Pokemon is gonna get off a turn here. Hopefully it's Rotom. Rotom actually. I forgot we have the Citrus Berry. That's huge. So hopefully he's actually going after my Rotom because Rotom could probably eat up a shot from him. Let's see how this one plays here. He's going to end up going into a bite. Do not flinch me. I swear if that flinches me. Are you kidding me? Get out of my face, dude. Flinches me with a bite. That is ridiculous. We bring that thing down to Sash, which is huge. And Buffett should actually KO it, right? That's big time plays from us. We still have Rosary in the back end. Oh, this hurts the soul. This hurts soul. I could double protect for more Buffets to fly around here. That hurts, man. That hurts. Does Ro does Weavile take Buffets? Yeah, it does. Cool. Weavile's gonna go down here. Rotom's gonna go down. A little bit of HP here. I don't think it's gonna die, though. But, dude, if we didn't flinch, that's an easy win. That's an easy win. Now I think we lose this battle, right? I think we lose this battle. Because we flinched on a bite? Get out of my face with that, man. Get out of my face with that. Please get out of my face with that. Please, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. We flinched to a and we lose the battle. We flinch to a fight and we lose the battle. So my only hope here would be if Roserade outspeeds Kyogre. Let me see Roserade's speed. I mean, he can just protect and win the battle, but I don't know if he's going to do that. Let me see your speed, Roserade. That's my only hope. That hurts, man. That really hurts. We made the right calls. We made everything out there great. Let's see your speed. What's your speed? 142. 
I don't think. I don't think. I just don't know. Because what's called didn't even outspeed him. Infernape didn't even outspeed the Kyogre. That hurts, man. That's GG's. That is GG's. One HP Rose Rate gonna lose this battle. But we legit lost to a flinch. And plus he had uh, what's it called? Obviously he had a uh, mythical Pokemon. But still, yo, solid first battle. I'll chalk that up as a W, but not really, but still. We played really good there. Definitely lost that flinch, and we did not have any mythical or legendary Pokemon to counteract him. Battle number two coming at you guys, and I decided to rematch our opponent because I feel like I deserved to win that last one. God dang, bite flinched me. That might be the first time I ever got flinched by a bite. Embarrassing. It's unreal. It is unreal, but we're hopping into our second battle. He has a pretty similar team here. He doesn't have the Kyogre on this squad, and Kyogre is really what did his dirty last year. It's a Darkrai, Cresselia, Garchomp, Scizor, and then he has Intimidate and Fake Out with him on top, and then Ludicolo coming here. So, Rose Raid, I feel like you're pretty solid here. I kind of dig the Rose Raid. Yeah, let's lead the Rose Raid, and I feel like Infernape's just great. We can Fake Out, we can U Turn. We just have a lot of options. So, I'm going to go in with them too. I definitely want T Tar here because T Tar does a lot of work. It's a dark move for the Cresselia. He has a rocks as well. And then last but not least, uh, who do we go into? We're going to Star Raptor. Star Raptor's not too bad. Star Raptor. I'm kind of digging Star Raptor. I really like Star Raptor. But we can go into like Rotom. Rotom's not too bad. I really don't want Fable because of that scissor scissors is a threat. But I feel like Star Raptor we can get a lot of value in it. It's either Star Raptor or Rotom. Hmm. This jeans want to do here. Do we really need to intimidate? And he has a few physical attackers, and I really do like to intimidate. Plus the speed on top of that. It's really good. So yeah, you know what? Star Raptor. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. I love this Pokemon. But yeah, I gotta redeem myself for that last battle because that was it was just the 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 battle was in the bag. We had it. And then Bite flinches me. I saw him bite me. I was like, oh, don't you dare tell me he's gonna flinch me. Don't you dare tell me. So he's gonna end up going in with these two. Um I think at this point we just put the Cresselia to sleep. And we fake out the chomp, right? Just seems rather good because he can levitate and just drop EQs, right? It's looking really good. He's going to end up protecting chomp. That's totally fine. As long as I can get this crest to sleep. As long as I can get this Cresselia to sleep, that could be a solid turn for us. The Rose Raid is going to go. And he's going to put this thing night night. Beautiful. We love it. Solid turn for us. So Sleep Powder coming out from Rose Raid. We like that. We dig it a lot. So we can freely drop EQs. I wonder if Infernape outspeeds this Garchomp. I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but... I kind of want to get after this Garchomp. I kind of just want to get after this Garchomp. So I'm going to U-turn, pivot, and go from there. I'm going to double down this Garchomp stop here. I'm going to U-turn out of here, and I think I should bring out T-Tar here, right? Or I could bring out Rotom. I could bring out Rotom. Rotom's not too bad, because if he is going for an EQ, we can die. I don't even have Rotom. Or I can go in Star Raptor. I, I dig Star Raptor. I dig Star Raptor here. But I think we have Rotom. Why the heck do why do I think I have different Pokemon than I do? <laughs> but Star Raptor works. Fine. Intimidate's gonna come out here and drop that attack. I think he is going for an EQ. You can really see it happening. And he's gonna go for the EQ. Good thing we swapped into Star Raptor and we get rolling from there. Plus Rose Raid should be able to eat up pretty fine here. You dig it. Good work, Rose Raid. Good work, Rose Raid. Alright, so now we can start getting after that, uh, that Cresselia. We can start getting after that Cresselia. I might want to do it. I think I'm just going to U-turn Pivot out and go into, like, a Sludge Bomb or something. I'm going to do as much damage as we can. Garchomp might protect or even swap out, so I'm just going to U-turn Pivot here. Maybe go back into my, uh, what's it called? He does protect, which is huge. I'm going to go back into Infernape here. The calls from us go after this Cresselia here. Can we U-turn that out of here? Great plays by us. Great plays by us. I could go into uh, T-Tar at this point. I could definitely go into T-Tar if I wanted to. Just to get off those crunches, but still, those EQs can be dirty. I could go back into Infernape. I feel like T-Tar's going to be my play. I feel like T-Tar has to be my play, right? Didn't Rose Raid outspeed that, uh... Didn't it outspeed that Chomp? I think it did. I'm just going to go into T-Tar here. That really poses threat because if Rose Ray does outspeed the, the chomp like I like I like I think I could just energy ball next turn take it out and drop a crunch into the Rose uh the Cresselia slot. Not bad turns for us. Rose Ray's gonna go sludge bomb and get off some nice damage. He's still asleep. Let's go Rose Ray. Rose Ray's doing great. Rose Ray is doing lovely. It's doing lovely. The buffets are fine. I feel like I can just crunch that slot and energy ball into the other slot. Right? It sounds really good. It does sound really good. It does sound beautiful. 
That sounds beautiful. And then we still have our fake out user in the back end. So yeah, energy ball can, can come out here. And then I'm just going to crunch right in this slot. Wait, does Rose Raid outspeed? Did Rose Raid outspeed out? I'm kind of hoping because if not, I'm kind of hurt. But we do have that thing minus one, which is really good. Really good for us. Let's go ahead, Rose Raid. Outspeed it. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'm thinking differently. Maybe I saw something else. We'll see how this one plays. Now he does outspeed us. He does outspeed us. See, what was I thinking? See, that's what I, that's what I was thinking to myself. I was just like, there's no way that Rose Raid outspeeds it. Garchomp's rather fast, but still, I'll take that turn all day because Energy Ball is going to fly here. We're going to get rid of Garchomp, and then Crunch should be able to come out here and finish off this Cresselia, no problem, right? It's looking really good for us. Crunch comes out here and takes it out. Beautiful. So we get rid of the Crest. We get rid of the Garchomp. That, that's two big KOs. It's two big time KOs, and then I wonder who he's bringing out here. Because Rose Raid dies to Buffets here. Rose Raid does indeed die to Buffets. That hurts. That does hurt. Rose Raid out for count. So obviously I would rather go into Infernape here. Because we can figure out this turn. Or I can Intimidate. I have a lot of speed on the board too. I think I'd rather Intimidate. Because he's forced to bring out his last two Pokemon. So I'd rather Intimidate this. And then maybe you turn out and then get off another Intimidate in a little bit. Could be really good. Him on top's coming out here, so yeah, Intimidate's gonna be great. So our can come out here, and then who's the last Pokemon? Anything but Scissor. I really don't feel like dealing with Scissor. Gonna be Dark Rye. Okay, I can I can deal with Dark Rye. I can deal with the Dark Rye. Intimidate's gonna come out here. This thing has Dark Rye is just tough Pokemon. Really strong. Really strong, and I don't know if it can kill my Inferno for one turn. Actually, I do have close combat. I do have close combat. Do I want to U-turn onto it? I kind of do. Kind of do want to U-turn onto it. Do that, and then uh, I think I just want to rock slide. Or oh, I can D-dance here. What do I want to do? I feel like our only threat is going to be that Dark Rock. So I feel like he has to go. I could D-dance here. The fake out is coming in hot. He might fake out and double down on my Star Raptor. I feel like I just got to get off as much damage as I can. I'm going to pop a rock slide here. I am going to pop a rock slide. But if I can get another swap in here for another Intimidate onto that hit on top, it could be good. But the Dark Ride is really the only threat. Going up against Mythical Pokemon and Legendary Pokemon without any Mythical or Legendary Pokemon is such a hard game to play. He's going to end up faking out my Star Raptor. I think he doubles down with an Ice Beam, right? Can you eat this Star Raptor? Thunderbolt. Oh, I don't know if he can. But it goes to my T-Tar. T-Tar eats. Big time eat, T-Tar. Big time eat. The big time eat. The big time eat. The big time eat. T-Tar's going to go down to some Life Orb damage. Brings it down to two. Buffets are flying. Good thing my T-Tar isn't affected by it. And I wish I was choice to do a close combat at this point. But if I can get off this U-turn, that could be huge. Could U-turn out of here. All right, I'm choice. Oh, no, I'm not choice anymore. I close combat and finish the battle off. Woo! Cool. Do that. Get rid of you. And then my Infernip should be able to 1v1 this. I don't want to go for a D-Dance. Wait, I'm going to go for a D-Dance. See how this one plays. Star Raptor's gonna close combat. That should be able to finish it off. Let's go. Let's go, Star Raptor. Thank God it didn't choice into the U-turn. The fake out kind of canceled it out. That's big time plays for us. So we get rid of the Dark Rat yet again with the close combat. And now this time, I feel like we're thriving here. I feel like him on top might go after Star Raptor. If it doesn't, then we're chilling fine here. But I Dragon Dance just in case, you know. Just want to get that speed and attack back to normal. Let's go. And him on top's minus one. What are you gonna do, him on top? What are you going to do, kind sir? It's going to go for close combat into T-Tar. Worst move he could have possibly done. Because it's dropping his defense. He's going to waste a close combat on a 2 HP Pokemon. Unless that's his only attacking move. But there it is, guys. Like I said, I want to redeem myself in battle number 2. Because I felt like I deserved a win in battle number 1. And we're that is exactly what we're doing. Dark Knight is just such a huge threat. I'm surprised he went into my... uh surprised he didn't go into my Star Raptor. With that Thunderbolt. But it's all good. It's all good. We take that all day. We take that all day. Mythical Pokemon, Legendary Pokemon, get on out of here. Get on out of my face. Not dealing with them. We obviously have to go into close combat. We're choice into it, and then we'll just fake out for the flinches. But I think our opponent just canceled the battle, right? It is not canceled battle. He stays in here. Star Raptor is going to wrap it up. Oh, nope. It has Citrus Berry. I lied. I wish I had Brave Burn. I wish I was choice into Brave Burn now, but close combat. We had to get rid of that Dark Ride. I knew we had the battle unlocked once we get rid of the Dark Ride. And that's chilling. That's chilling. So I was just like, yeah, we got to go into close combat here. Got rid of the Dark Rye. And Infernape could have 1v1 this Pokemon. Infernape could just 1v1 easily. Easily. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. Close combat coming out here. And then we're just going to double down to close combat. 
What do I want to do? They're both stabbed for me. I think we'll get a little bit more value out of a flare blitz because it looks a bit cooler. Close combat flies from Star Raptor. Our opponent doesn't cancel the battle. And there it is, guys. GG. One and one for today's video. Let's hop to that third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys, going up against the same opponent again, because in BDSP, it's kind of a pain to find other opponents. So we're just sticking with our opponent, and luckily he's switching up the team every single time, but we're going back up against that Kai Ogre. And then he has Swift Swim, uh, Kingdra on top of that. Kind of a pain, kind of annoying, but hopefully we can get after it and grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But Rose Raid, I'm going to lead you. I like Rose Raid in this situation. It has a lot of super effective moves up against a lot of different of these Pokemon. So yeah, I'm going to bring Rose Raid. I definitely want Rotom here as well. We have to watch out for that, uh, that what's it called, that Raikou could be scary. But I'm going to bring Infernape. I feel like Infernape could be solid just for the fake outs and just for the kind of the control. Or do I even, or do I just not even go you? I could go with like Star Raptor here. So Raptor's not too bad with that speed. Definitely need Titar in the back end, right? Titar's pretty solid. And then we kill Rotom. There we go, Rotom. Yeah, I like Star Raptor over Infernape. Infernape does have the fake out, but kind of hurts. Kind of hurts, you know? It being fire type and everyone else being water. It just seems like it's dumped on by too many of these Pokemon. So I'm just going to go into here and we're going to roll from there. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping he leads. Uh... Actually, yeah, dude, I don't know, man. The Kai Ogre is just such a pain. It is such a pain to deal with. So hopefully we can at least, like, deal with it and get some more power from our Rose Raid. But we should be 2 0. We should be 2 0. Again, I'm still a little butt hurt from that, uh, that, uh, that bite flinch. I am still a little upset on that. But he's going to end up going into these two. And, uh, what do I do? I could neglect a lot of the water spout damage by going into. I could actually maybe get rid of Kyogre. I could maybe get rid of Kyogre. Damn, we have Focus Sash. And maybe Star Raptor's faster than, uh, I think Star Raptor might be faster than, what's it called? Star Raptor might be faster than that Kingdra. And if it is, that's big time plays for us. That could be big time plays for us. So, you know, I'm going to do this. And do I just, do I U-turn or do I go in heavy? Do I go in heavy with, like, a Brave Burn? I feel like going in heavy is probably in a play. So I want to get off as much damage onto this, uh, Kai Ogre. So it's Water Spout doesn't do as much damage. But still, it's in the rain. It just does too much damage. But I gotta get rid of this Kyogre. I have to get rid of this Kyogre. And hopefully my back end Pokemon can clutch it up. I can always change weather after that. So Raptor's gonna dodge. Who, go who went first? He went first. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Rose Raid soaks up rather well. Rose Raid soaks that up rather well. So Raptor's gonna go next. Which is big time, please. So Raptor's gonna end up sending an F's little Brave Bird. Hopefully this thing is going for a Water Spout. Because it's going to do no damage if it does. Please go for a water spout. Please go for a water spout. Just for an ice beam. Oh, that hurts. You're not going to my rose raid. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Right into my rose raid. Okay. I mean, we got to change up weather here, right? Yeah, change up weather. Because now Star Raptor outspeeds the Kyogre. And we kind of roll after the battle. That way. I could go for a D-Dance. Definitely go for a D-Dance here. God dang. Of course he went after I think he would go after like I think I would think he would go for like a water spell, but that was a smart play by him. Definitely a smart play. Definitely a smart play. But at least we got showcase rose raid in battle number one and in battle number two. Really well. Really, really well. I could go into a dragon ants here. I'm kind of leaning towards dragon ants. And just getting rid of that uh getting rid of the Kyogre with Brave Bird. Kind of with it. Because if Kyogre doesn't protect it's dead. He should have withdraws it. Okay, so Brave Bird's gonna fly into that. And who are you gonna go into? Somebody that cannot eat this. Suicune. Okay, Suicune's not too bad. Brave Bird's gonna fly here. I dig that. Nice damage. Nice lovely damage. And I think he just wants to get the weather back. We are D-dancing on top of this. Muddy Water's gonna fly here. So Raptor dodges it again, dude. So Raptor's on the board with the dodges. Muddy Water's gonna fly here. Titar's gonna D-dance and we're gonna grant some speed. So I could actually swap Titar if I want to. I don't really know what he's gonna do here. Cause he could swap it for some more weather. I could protect and just see how it goes. Or I can get straight after him. Hmm. What is my play? Star Raptor's on the dodge point. He's dodging a lot. Star Raptor is dodging a lot. It's tough. Do we think he's gonna swap with that Kyogre? That Kyogre is such a pain, man. It's such a pain. It is such a pain. I might get after the Kingdra. Kingdra poses a bit more of a threat than that uh, Suicune. The Suicune does have Ice Beam, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna drop a rock slide and I'm just gonna go after the Kingdra. Raptor's doing good. Maybe I should have went after the Suicune just in case he swaps to the Kyogre. I don't know if he's gonna do it. I really don't know if he's gonna do it. 
He might do it because Muddy Water might be able to KO him. He does not do it. That's big. Big. So what's called does outspeed now? Oh, big time KO Star Raptor. Titar outspeeds. Titar outspeeds with that Dragon Dance. That's huge. Titar, get a flinch here. Get a flinch. We need a big time flinch. You're plus one on the attack board, too. That's big time damage. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. He flinched me with a bite earlier today. Are you kidding me? Take out my Star Raptor, please. I want my Titar. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so not too bad. He has the Kyogre, but I think my T-Tar might be able to outspeed a plus one. It's big. That is big. That is big. Thank God he didn't go for a Tailwind there. Another Buffet does take out that Suicune. Actually, never mind. It has left him. Lie. I lied. And we got to hope that we can actually outspeed this Kyogre if he brings it in here. We do have Rotom here in the back end, too. Rotom's really, really well. And I feel like the only Pokemon that can really outspeed us here would be like a Ludicolo in the Swift Swim. So we're going to hope that he does not have Ludicolo. Ludicolo is annoying. <laughs> Plus it adds fake out. So let's see if he goes in there. Of course, it's Ludicolo. So, um, obviously I kind of just want to protect here. Actually, I don't want to protect. I want to go into a rock slide. The thing is, if he swaps here. The thing is, if he swaps. I mean, we couldn't ask you about it. But if he swaps the Suicune. Just for the speed for the Ludicolo. I'm trying to think. If he swaps the Suicune for, for the Swift Swim Ludicolo, us protecting, he could read it and go into the road time. So I'd rather just double down with attacks. One's coming out of the wire. And he does not swap. Dude, Rock Slide's coming hot. It's coming in hot. We get rid of Suicune. And I think T Tar can outspeed the Kyogre. What's Ludicolo? Road time should be able to outspeed Ludicolo. Road time should be able to outspeed Ludicolo. And Rotom should be able to solo uh, Kyogre. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Told you guys, Redemption. I wanted Redemption up against this guy. He has great team, great Pokemon, but the mythical Pokemons, I just love beating them. I love beating them. Awesome third and final battle. T-Tar should be able to outspeed, so I'm not too worried. And Rotom should be able to eat up any type of shot that uh, Kyogre has to offer. But yeah, GG's. G to the G's. Let's go. Get this Kyogre out of here. Get him out of here. Not dealing with the legendaries or mythical. We're going to Crunch because Crunch actually has higher accuracy. And then we will Thunderbolt on top of this. But I think T-Tar does outspeed, right? It does not. It does not. Thank God we have the Rotom. Thank God we have the Rotom. It plus one Dragon Dance T-Tar does not outspeed a Kyogre. Kyogre is just OP. It's, it's dominant in Sword and Shield. It's even better in BDSP. <laughs> but it's all good. Like I said, we have the Rotom. He can easily clean up this battle. And there it is. Thunderbolt comes through there and grabs ourselves a lovely winning record up against Mythicals and Legendary Pokemon. We grab ourselves a winning record with this Roserade team up against Mythical and Legendary. You gotta love it. We got to showcase Roserade in battle number one and battle number two. It got off some big damage, but then in battle number three, it just got dumped on because the Kyogre, you know, just went after it instead of being a nice Kyogre and just going into a water spout. But it is all good. Like I said, we grabbed ourselves that winning record, got to showcase Roserade fully, and we got out Star Raptor again. Star Raptor did wonderful in today's video. The choice scarf on it is just amazing. It outspeeds a bunch of Pokemon. It can do big damage. Infernape, Rotom, and Titar did a lot of work as well. And then the only Pokemon we didn't get to use today was Clefable. But you guys know about Clefable. It's a nice little support mod that can use Follow Me a lot. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other Pokemon you guys want to see me showcase in BDSP. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.